Good evening and welcome to St. Mary's High School for tonight's matchup between the St. Mary's Rough Riders and the Defiance Bulldogs. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Mark Bagley. And Mark, we got a big early season conference matchup between uh, tonight between two teams that bring a lot of experience to the court. This is a great opening night, uh, WBL basketball, Nate, and, and two very experienced teams that have uh, won a lot of games the last several years, and, and two teams that look to be atop uh, the WBL uh, for a chance for a title. They're playing in game one tonight. Yeah, and I think that can't be overstated. You know, sometimes we get to the end of the season and you're looking at teams that may have one or two losses in these conference matchups, and you got to go all the way back to the beginning of December to find that loss. Sometimes these early season conference matchups can go overlooked as far as their importance to a season, and it can't because both of these teams definitely have, um, you know, dreams of winning that conference title and a whole lot more this year, and this game tonight could do a lot to settle that. It's going to be fun, Nate. Here we go. Opening tip is going to be controlled by the Rough Riders. Taking a look at the starting lineups for both teams. First for the St. Mary's Rough Riders. Number five, Coben Owens. Number 11, Braden Sullivan. Number 22, Jace Turner. Number 24, Evan Anksman. And the Ohio State commit, number 35, Austin Parks. For the Defiance Bulldogs, number two, Braden Shaw. Number three, Aiden Kiesling. Number five, David Jimenez. Number 10, Isaac Schlatter. And number 33, Caden Zacharich. This Defiance Bulldog team starts five seniors. A lot of experience on the other side from St. Mary's as well. The big three in Turner, Angsman, and Parks. A lot of experience at the varsity level. They had a lot of success as well. Um, as has the Defiance Bulldogs. A great regular season last year. Number one overall seed going into tournament play. And St. Mary's making that run to BG last year. As the putback is good. The first two points of the night are going to go to Turner. And you can see that possession. Defiance played great defense for... Almost a minute there, and they still give up that offense rebound to Defiance. Defiance quickly with the answer as Zachrich comes up with two points at the basket. And I think that's what we're going to see a lot tonight, Mark, is you know St. Mary's, with the way that they're built, especially with their size and their length, they can be a little bit more patient. They move the ball around. They want to get to the inside uh, with Defiance. So I think we're going to see up-tempo, quick responses. First three-pointer on its way. That one's going to be off rebound into the hands of Shaw. And that's the recipe for Defiance right there. What a great move by Angsman falling down. Passes it up to Owens who finishes it for two. As I said that, they turned it over. And, and I really think what that last possession where, where they, they, they shot a wide open three, but that's what Defiance has to give up something tonight because they're going one in, four out uh, with, with the size of Parks. Here's Zachrich with the right hand. That one's going to be short. He's going to be working against Austin Parks the majority of tonight. It's a tall order for anybody, but Caden Zachrich knows how to hold his own down there. Angsman turnaround jumper is good. Evan Angsman as St. Mary's has come away with points on their first three possessions. And that's just a hard at 6-7 to guard that is really, really tough and nice individual move. Shaw for three off the back of the iron. Rebound comes down to St. Mary's. Fast pace from both teams here in the early going. And here's Turner. Gets it over to Angsman. And you're seeing right now, at certain levels, they're trying to really pressure the ball. And Parks was trying to show that inside-outside game he has, but that three-pointer off the front of the rim. Defiance quickly comes down, kicks it down into the corner. Three-pointer on its way. That one's off as Jimenez was just off on that shot. 6-2, St. Mary's on top. Just over five minutes left to go here in the opening quarter. And right now, St. Uh, Mary's going one and four out and just trying to look at mismatches. Three-pointer is off. Zachrich comes up with the rebound. See Kiesling trying to push the, uh, push the tempo. Gets it back to Zachrich. Zachrich for three. That one rims out. Parks comes up with the rebound. That's good early offense for Defiance. They got to make those shots uh, in, you know, while St. Mary's defense gets set. Hanksman drives baseline, has some contact, gets left all alone, rebound to Turner, and feeds it to Parks for an easy two. And both offensive rebounds, Nate, for St. Mary's have led to layups. And that's in an early season game where both teams aren't sh you know, shooting great right now. Those are the kind of plays that will win a game. 
Well, we were talking prior to coming onto the air. Three guys, you see a three-point shot go up, and that's what Defiance needs. Nice answer that time as number 10, Isaac Slaughter, able to make that three-pointer go down. Defiance quickly with the timeout, just a 30 seconds, so we will keep it here. But, you know, as I was saying, we were talking prior to coming on the air. St. Mary's is a matchup nightmare for the majority of teams that they're going to see, not just in WBL, but in this area and even beyond. You know, when you can run three guys out like Turner, Angsman, and Parks, especially with the size and the scoring ability that they have, it you know, you almost have to pick your poison. You do, and you see what Defiance is trying to do. They're trying to pressure the guards but and, and have great help, but then you give up, you know, rebounding angles, and you also give up wide open three-point shots, but you have to give up something because you can't you can't pressure all five guys and not have help against that kind of size. So that was a good timeout by Coach Lane, but I, I think he just felt like the the tempo of this game wasn't really in their favor and, and how they're playing some things. So they'll make some adjustments here, and we'll see what St. how St. Mary's counters. And the big difference right now, St. Mary's has had second and third opportunities as they've gotten multiple offensive rebounds. There's Defiance, that ball pressure and right Defiance there. And has been one and done. Turnover goes down to the Bulldogs. So just as you were talking about the pressure from the guards leading to things going the other way, and as you said, that's what led to the Defiance win last year was their ability to put pressure on St. Mary's and get turnovers. And we're going to have a foul on the floor. In the WBL, there's only there's nine league games, and there's five home and four away, and it just depends what your rotation on. This is a year where, you know, this game happens to be on St. Mary's home floor, and that's a big advantage early in December for a WBL game. Shot is up and good. We are all tied at eight. Braden Shaw, three points. Gets his team all tied up. And, you know, that's one of those things that Defiance, if they can, a good entry pass. So, and it's going to be, I believe Kiesling's going to get called for that as he came on the backside, knocked that one out of Parks. But, you know, Defiance, you know, if they can, be, if they can hit from behind the arc tonight, you know, obviously that is a huge advantage normally for any team, but that avoids you having to be in that paint trying to go against that size of St. Mary's. It opens up some lanes. Park's first free throw is good. And we saw early on a couple shots inside. Uh, one was blocked and one was affected. And, and, and you get inside that paint against St. Mary's, it, it's almost impossible to get a shot off. So Austin Parks, second free throw on its way. That one is good. He has four on the night. And Park's offseason progression, I think, as he played, you know, a lot of different summer league events, is that he's trying to expand his game to, you know, 15 feet and beyond. His, his stroke looks pretty good right now. Parks with the steal. He's going to run against Zakic. Zach, Zakic tried to reach in, poke that one away and affect it. But Austin Parks, with all that strength and explosiveness, rised up and took that one down. And that's what can't happen for Defiance tonight, layup turnovers. That's what that was. It was a... I mean, with Parks, you see he's moving really well tonight. That was a nice play. Kiesling over to Zachary. Zachary. Shot is just off the side of the rim. That one's going to stay with the fine. It's going to stay last touched by Sullivan. And even that shot right there by Zachary, it was defended late by Parks, and it was a little bit short because 6'11 flying at you is a, is a load. Shaw for three-pointer from the corner. That one rattles down and good. That's six points, his second three-point shot of the night. Defiance came out of that timeout and ran two really nice actions for Shaw. Flair first for a three, that out-of-bounds play for a three on the backside, and it's been a, been a really entertaining first quarter here. Hank's been left alone in the corner. He puts up a shot. That one's going to be off, going to go out of bounds. Last touch by Shaw. Basket, basketball will stay with St. Mary's. And that's the backside war rebound that wins WBL games right there. You saw they had to give up something. It was a three. They had two guys surrounding Parks, and the backside rebound was won by St. Mary's there. That's going to be a big play. That's three offensive rebounds already for St. Mary's. Schlatter and Jimenez coming back into the game for Defiance. Parks gets the entry pass, tried to go inside. And they're going to say, I believe... Gonna, are we going to have a foul? We are. As Khalil Ligon picks up his first foul. 
And it is. It's so hard to officiate size, and I understand that. There's about eight hands in every play there, and it probably was a reach-in foul there, and it's a, it's a tough one to call, but it was the right call. Sullivan all the way to the rim for two. A nice inbounds, uh, inbound set there by St. Mary's. St. Mary's five for seven from two early on, and that's where they they've shot a lot of layups inside. Shaw with a head of steam drives inside, picks up the foul. He'll go to the free throw line to shoot two, as Braden Sullivan is going to be whistled for the foul. And the reason why that was successful in the paint is he didn't hesitate. He went right to the basket, created contact on the hip, and it didn't matter if there was help or not. He got fouled by the guy guarding him. Shaw unable to connect on his first free throw. Still a three-point game, 14 to 11 on the Charles River scoreboard. Shaw's second free throw is up and good. Two-point game, 14-12, a minute 53 left to go. It's a quick stoppage as we're going to have some substitutions. Zach Rich coming back into the game for Defiance. As is Saldana coming in for the first time tonight. And early on, in close game, St. Mary's battle the board 7-3, to three, and that's going to be a huge factor. That's one of the key factors for Coach Lehman. A little run and jump, try to make their guards shoot fast shots. So Jaden Lotz checked into the game, and his pass is picked off. Defiance going on the run out, able to get it down with Schlatter. Both teams have capitalized on layup turnovers, live ball turnovers, Nate, and that's going to, every basket's going to matter tonight in a very close, evenly contested game. So both offenses have had their moments. They've each gone on runs. And with just over a minute left to go here in the opening quarter, we are all tied up. Hanksman up at the top of the key. Hands it off to Owens. Is he going to let the offense get set? Run a little flex action for St. Mary's now. St. Mary's showing pretty good patience here, just running the offense. Trying to get somebody to come open. They finally find Anksman down low. So he was able to sneak behind the defense. And he got two more points. And that was really good patience by St. Mary's as they're waiting for Parks to come back in. They, that was good execution. Nice pass to the outside. This one's going to be off as Defiance tried to take advantage of Parks being out to find Zacharich down low. Not able to come away with points on that offensive possession, and now we're under 30 seconds to go here in the opening quarter. And that's the shot Defiance has to make. It's a wide open three tonight for them to win. Lots. Gets rid of it. Ends up in the hands of Sullivan. Sullivan being tightly guarded, gets rid of it as Defiance is playing good defense right now in the man to man. Five seconds to go. Sullivan, deep three point shot, and it's good. Braden Sullivan with a big three-pointer to end the quarter. And with that, the first quarter comes to a close. After one, St. Mary's is on top, 19 to 14. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Our scoreboard is presented by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School. Nate Garlock alongside Mark Bagley. Second quarter just about underway. And Mark, fast-paced action there in the first quarter. Each offense had a time to shine. And at the end of the first quarter there, St. Mary's won a nice little run. Yeah, that 5-0 run with Parks on the bench was huge to finish the quarters. And how you start and finish quarters in this league when teams are even are huge. Zachrich comes out firing and gets the three-point shot to go down. So a good start to the quarter for Defiance as they make this a two-point game. Great flare screen for Zachrich there and get him going a little bit. That's what they need to do right now. Defiance led in scoring in that first quarter by Braden Shaw as he had seven points. And here's a turnover for Defiance. They have the numbers. Zacharich finishes off the glass for two. And that's three turnovers that led to six points for Defiance. And that's, that's, the, that's their main game plan. The, an outstanding pressure right now by number 11, uh, Jaden Saldano. 
A 5-0 run to end the first quarter by St. Mary's is matched by a 5-0 run by Defiance to start the second quarter. But Turner it puts an end to that with a two-point shot to put St. Mary's back on top. They're eight for ten right now, Nate, from two. So that's St. Mary's recipe, and we know what Defiance is early on. Nice spin move, kicks it back out. Three-point tries on its way. This one's going to be off. Rebound down to St. Mary's. Hanksman gets it up into the front court. Waits for Owens to catch up, and they're going to slow things down. Parks going to try to drive. Nice undercut that time by Saldana, but not able to come up with it as Cobain Owens gets his fourth point of the night. And if there are other, other role players make those kind of shots, they're going to be really hard to beat this year. Shaw goes for the drive-in. He's fouled as Owens is going to pick up his second foul of the night. Lots going to come in as Owens will take a seat. You see number 12, Antonio Lopez, coming into the game for the first time for Defiance. And I, I was wrong, Nate. I thought that St. Mary's would play a lot of 3-2 and 2-3 zone. Early on, it's been all man. And Defiance has heard him on flare screens uh, early on with their offense. Zachrich kicks it out. Lopez spins around with the left hand, looking for an outlet. Finds a nice cut that time by Slaughter. Nice job running the baseline behind the defense and finishes at the rim for two. And that's the only way he could finish that shot, Nate, was to use the rim as his friend to protect it from Parks' long arms, and he used the rim to, to, to seal him off. Defiance <laughs> continuing that smothering defense. Great help that time coming from Kiesling as he came from that backside a long way to take that one away from Parks. Shaw gets it to Lopez. Lopez moves it over to Zacherts. Zacherts gets to the free throw line, pulls up off the front of the rim. Sullivan with the rebound. And we're going to have a timeout. This is going to be by St. Mary's. We will step aside, and we'll be back right here on WOSN. Welcome back. Our scoreboard is presented by Charles River and Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. St. Mary's takes the time out as Defiance has been able to match this offensive output. And St. Mary's lead is just down to two as we've been back and forth here in the whole game here in the first half. And during the break, Mark, you were talking about the defense from Defiance, the pressure that these guards are putting on. You saw it right there again as Lopez able to get into uh, lots and force that one out of bounds. That's been, you know, the second second quarter, the biggest thing in the first three minutes is their ball pressure has picked up even greater. I mean, they are truly trying to make St. Mary's make tough decisions. Here's Lotz. Has to pick up his dribble. And when you throw post-entry passes from 20-plus feet, it gives the defense a chance to recover. That's why you've seen some steals from the guards down low on the help side. Lopez working hard against Lotz. Lotz has to get rid of it. They're keeping him out around the perimeter. As you see that on the back side, Defiance's defense just trying to stay in. Zanksman pulls up. That one's going to be no good. Rebound comes down to Defiance. Shaw's on the run out. Going to work against Sullivan. Spins back towards the basket off the glass and in. And you saw that backside rebound by Defiance there. They won that war with Parks and then led to an easy basket for them. And we're all tied up, and it's not surprising, Nate. These are two really good teams in early, early December playing. Got to be impressed with the defensive Defiance working against Parks. They've done a nice job of boxing him out and forcing him out towards the baseline. So those rebounds have been easier, kind of trying to neutralize that length. The defense forces this one out of bounds, but it is going to stay with St. Mary's. Quick substitution as Tyler Frederick is going to check into the game. And you, and you see for Defiance, they've got three players that scored. Obviously the big two, and then in the third has been slaughtered tonight for him. Hanksman can't get that one to go. Rebound fought for. Ends up in the hands of Park. And Zachrich is going to get called for that foul. That'll be his second, the team's fourth. There's the fourth offensive rebound, and again, I, it's a broken record, Nate, but in the Western Buckeye League, the backside rebound is, it's a war. And St. Mary's won it again. So Austin Parks makes his second trip to the free throw line. Unlike the first time, not able to connect on the first free throw. 
Lines up his second shot. On its way and good. So Austin Parks, three for four from the line here in the first half, has his team on top one, 24-23. And, and, the, and the fans need to remember, too, that Parks is coming off a little bit of an injury here. This is the first game he's played this year. Shaw for three. That one's going to be no good. Fight for the rebound. Ends up in the hands of Angsman. Angsman goes on the run out. Took off a little bit too soon. And got caught up in the air that time. Tried to drop it off to a teammate, but a nice job by Defiance to get back on defense. And I believe that was Shaw that got back and got his feet set to pick up that offensive foul. Yeah. Shaw is one of the better point guards in the Western Buckeye League, and he just really does a lot of great things running the team and also defensively there was a nice play. So that foul was Angsman's first. St. Mary's is fourth. The ball goes back to Defiance. Bulldogs down one. As Frederick works back up towards the top of the key, working against Parks. Gets rid of it to Saldana. Shaw, nice head fake that time, slips it back, gets the ball back behind the key. He's going to work. Looked like he was trying for a step back jumper that time, but might have lost the ball in his hand, so has to get rid of it. And the speed of defiance that time left an opening, but out of control. As you saw, Saldana, I'm sorry, uh, that was actually Slaughter go to the baseline. And I be was, believe that was Angsman that was down there that picked that one up. So he gave one on the other end and picked it back up on the defensive side. Yeah, back to back charges. And, and uh, that's one thing that early on in the season, I've seen an unbelievable amount of, of charges taken, which, you know, is a good thing. But uh, Lotz loses his footing, has to get rid of it. Loose ball ends up in the hands of Shaw. He's going to take it all the way in for an easy two. That's six turnovers now for St. Mary's. And out of those six turns, I, I believe it's, it's 10 points off, off turnovers so far. And Shaw's got 11. Under three to go here in the first half. Defiance on top one. Sullivan. Works against Shaw. Goes, tries to go with the right hand. Going to take the screen from Parks. Looking for a little pick and roll. Parks has to get rid of it. Zachrich able to get his hands on it, but still ended up in the hands of Angsman, who tried to feed Turner down low, but one more time, the Defiance help defense comes up big as they knock that one away. And that's been the difference here in this quarter. Defiance has been a little tougher, and they're up one right now with that. Three-point shot on its way. Schlotter for three. He now has ten points, double digits for Isaac, and uh, Defiance now on top four. Aiden Kiesling's going to get whistled for that foul. In his first, team sixth. In that last possession, what you saw there, Shaw got into the paint, didn't shoot it for himself, but created an opening for his teammate. And the big three for Defiance right now, they're all producing offensively. Shooting well, very well from behind the arc as they've done most of their damage from the three-point line. St. Mary's needs to get some movement here, Nate, to, 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 so the defense can't help so much. Because right now they're one and four out, and, and, the, and Defiance is loading the box up inside on them. Three-point try is good. Noah Payne, who had checked into the game, comes up with his first points of the night. And, and I think he came in to be a shooter, and he's only a sophomore, and they're now two of seven from three. They have to make those shots when there were three guys on parks inside. So Slaughter tries to get rid of it. And the initial call was giving the ball to St. Mary's, but St. Mary's did knock that one out as Slaughter was trying to get it over to Shaw, knocked it out of bounds. The basketball is going to stay with Defiance. Minute 35 left to go here in the first half. Slaughter finds Zachich. Zachich into the paint, and he took some extra steps in there, so another turnover by Defiance. Substitution coming in for Defiance. Number 11, Saldana, comes into the game. And Defiance's turnovers, I think they've had one live ball, but three have been dead ball, and they can defend that. So, uh, again, last minute and a half here, the first half. What a great half uh, of high school basketball. Angsman works over on the wing, trying to find Parks down low. Not a great entry pass as Frederick was able to poke that one away. Defiance almost gave it right back. 
And they end up as Jimenez had nowhere to go with that basketball, tried to throw it um, deep back into Defiance's territory, but picked off by St. Mary's. And have another whistle. One on one for St. Mary's. And this is the, <laughs> it's still early season, Nate. It's really early for both teams. And you can see there's been some careless turnovers here late. Both teams are a little tired. They're subbing a lot. And again, uh, St. Mary's has got themselves in the bonus. So Braden Sullivan going to the free throw line, the front end of a one and one. That one's no good. Rebound comes down to Zacherich. Under a minute left to go, Defiance with the one-point lead. And all man-to-man -man the first half for St. Mary's. I, that surprised me a little bit. I thought they'd play some, uh, some zone here, but not so far. Nice kick out to Zacherich. Zacherich for three, and he gets it to go. And that might be why, Mark, you know, maybe they saw on film that this Defiance team can shoot it from three-point and trying to run them off the line that hasn't worked here in the first half. And that three-point try is off, and the rebound is going to come down to Defiance. And I'd imagine we'd see them try to hold here for the last possession of the half. Yeah, St. Mary's is two for eight for three. Defiance, six for 12 right now, Nate. So that's that's been a big difference in this half. Zacherich one more time. That's been his spot. That one in and out. And a tip drill that time. Number 10, Isaac Schlaughter ends up tipping it to Frederick. He gets it to go. And Defiance ends the first half on a big run. And they're going to take the six-point lead into the locker room as they are on top, 33-27. We will step aside. And when we return, we'll have the second half on WOSN. Welcome back to St. Mary's High School. Nate Garlock alongside Mark Bagley as the second half is just about underway. And, you know, Mark, it was an entertaining first half. Two really good teams. We talked about a lot of experience on both sides of the floor. You know, they both play a little bit differently. Sides advantage, obviously, to St. Mary's, but Defiance has done a tremendous job neutralizing that size and getting points up, especially from behind the arc. Yeah, Coach Lehman's goals were, were to pressure St. Mary's guards, to be patient on offense and move their defense, and then make life difficult for Parks to rebound the backside. They did those, I, I would say, three check marks. St. Mary's wanted to take care of the ball versus their pressure. Well, they had eight turnovers. They didn't really do that. Uh, confidence early with the easy baskets. They got that. They got easy baskets early. And then no easy shots, control the glass at both ends. They've controlled the glass, but Defiance has got a lot of easy shots. They're 7 11 from two and 6 of 13 from three. And St. Mary's is 6 of 11 from two, but only 2 of 8 from three. So. Both teams are blistering for early season shooting-wise. We'll see what adjustments both teams make here. We talked about the big three in Turner, Anksman, and Parks for St. Mary's in the first quarter. Those three combined for 12 points. In the second quarter, just three. But Anks, it comes out, or I'm sorry, Turner comes right out and puts two up on the board. So St. Mary's up to a good start here in the third quarter. Great player and ball movement by St. Mary's, that first possession inside out. And it looks like we're going zone. 2-3 match. You called it during uh, during halftime. We were talking about it, and you thought that they should come out and, and try this zone, and it looks like that's exactly what they're going to do. And sometimes people think zone allows more threes, but it also makes people stand sometimes. Well, Braden Shaw makes quick work of that zone defense, was able to find some nice space in the lane and got to, got to the rim pretty easily for those two points. He's just a really good player. He used a great ball fake there, changed his speed, and got used the glass. He's got 13 early on. 35-29, just underway here in the third quarter. Feet on the inside to Parks. The help came, but not as aggressive that time as Parks able to get that one up for two. St. Mary's offensively have had two great possessions open, open the third here. Let's see defensively if they can get to shooters and, and take away the driving lanes. Some miscommunication that time. Pashal able to gather it in. Nice feed, high off the glass that time, absolutely affected by the presence of Parks. Doesn't count as a block, Nate, but you saw it, that bat went over the backboard. It, he, he had to put so much air underneath it with, with the arc. St. Mary's ball movement and player movement is much better here to start the third. You can tell making a conscious effort to try to get 
Parks going down low. Sullivan with a three-point try. Long rebound down to Kiesling. And that's what the Fines will have to live with. Kiesling tried to get a long pass over to Shaw, but that one's going to be poked away by St. Mary's. Possession is going to stay with the Fines. Coach Hegemeyer, over 700 wins, did not like that, uh, that action right there. Pull up jumper is good for Slaughter as he now has 12 points on the night. And even when you do play zone day, you still have to guard the ball. And that St. Mary's didn't guard the ball. They, they relied on help on the backside, and it was too late. Defiance still with the six point lead, 37 31. Turner gets rid of it to Owens. Owens feed Parks down low, going towards the basket. Parks finishes through contact, and he's going to go to the free throw line. And because of player and ball movement, they, there wasn't as much ball pressure. They could lob it over the top, and you can't stop that. Austin Parks makes another trip to the free throw line. So far tonight, he is three of four. First shot on its way, and good as he converts the and one. Austin Parks with 12 points on the night. Back down to a one possession game. Jimenez moves it over, quick swing into the corner. Shaw gets the three pointer to go. Braden Shaw with his third three pointer of the night as he continues his hot hand. And we have a full timeout. We'll take one as well. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Our scoreboard is presented by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. St. Mary's with the early timeout here in the third quarter. As the Defiance offense has still found ways to score through that zone defense of St. Mary's. And no matter what St. Mary's has thrown, especially Defiance's big three. Look at that. Three guys on the ball. Yeah. And that, that goes down as another turnover. And you're going to have a tie-up jump ball called as Frederick that time got into the air, gathered it in, and parked so strong, just one hand from behind, and it was still a jump ball. Yeah, and people, you know, they think this is like game three or four or five for St. Mary's. This is game two for St. Mary's, and Parks didn't play in the first game. So they're going through some growing pains against a, a team that has five senior starters. Shaw runs the baseline. Going to have a foul call down low. That one's going to come against Sullivan. And that's the one, if we don't go to a shot clock, Nate, or whatever that may be, I wish they'd put an arc on. We'd paint an arc for the block charge, because that, that was a, a play under the basket. And, and that would take away some of that, those kind of plays right there. That, that'd be one suggestion I'd make. Catch and shoot by Shaw. This one's no good. Rebound down to Angsman. Good execution there by Defiance. St. Mary's come back on offense. And look to get find ways to get Parks going again. I mean, there's always three guys on him. Trying to get some ball movement to get Parks open. Able to get find him down low. He attacks the rim. Can't get it to go. We're going to take a trip to the free throw line. As Jimenez is going to pick up his first foul of the night. Team second. Parks' first free throw is good. He's had some early season injuries and battling through some of those, but he's moving well tonight. He looks good. Um, it's just there's always going to be three guys around him, and that's part of the things he has to understand uh, as a great basketball player. Austin Parks is perfect on this trip to the free throw line. And all of a sudden he has 14. After being held to just one point in the second quarter, already here in the third, he has seven. And you saw what happened there. Defiance, his player, uh, he looked around. Frederick looked around. And, and if you look around, your, your shots will get blocked. See the pressure from Defiance continuing, working against Owens that time. Knocked the ball out of bounds. Possession or possession is going to stay with St. Mary's as Angst takes it. Angstman, excuse me, takes it out of bounds. These last four minutes of the third quarter are going to be really important, Nate. I think for both teams. A little bit too much on that entry pass from Turner. 
This is Sauter able to pick it up. Shaw with a full head of steam goes in, does a great job. Good body control, working through some arms and was able to get around Parks that time for the finish. That's a skill level play. If you watch that open court move, that, that's lots and lots of practice on change of speeds. That was an outstanding move. Parks gets it over to Owens, sets the screen. He's going to try to roll. And Owens has this one poked away. We're going to have a foul. This one's going to go as it goes against Saldana, excuse me. That's who they end up calling that on. And Saldana's second foul of the night. Team's third of the half. Parks giving go to Anksman. Anksman. Going to pick up the foul by Frederick. He's going to make a trip to the free throw line. Hanksman hasn't scored since the first quarter. Usually a big offensive output from him on a pretty regular for, for St. Mary's. They'd like to see if they can't get him going here in the second half as his first free throw goes down. Yeah, him and Turner had 40 combined the, the first game against uh, as they played um, New Knoxville. 21 and 19. So those two have to Chip in as well. Hanksman goes one for two from the free throw line. Defiant still on top, 42-37. Three minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Zachrich gets rid of it. Saldana looking to try to get it down low, has this one taken away. And that's where Parks is so effective, he's so long. Saldana wants that ball back, gets rid of it, puts it up to Shaw. Shaw does a great job of running the floor, puts that one in for his ninth point of the quarter. And that's uh, 10 to 12 points, Nate, on live ball turnovers. And that's, that was their first key of the night, and they, they've done very well on that goal. 20 points for Braden Shaw on the night. Defiance on top, 44-37. They're letting their pressure on the defensive side, lead to offense on the other. We have a whistle on the floor, though, as see Jaden Lotz check into the game, as does number 12, Antonio Lopez. And Defiance just keeps on subbing in more guards and more guards just to keep apply that pressure, make, make St. Mary's guards handle it. You can see that first look is always to the inside, trying to see if Parks is there. That's where they want to go with it. Lots that time, a little bit too much on that entry pass. It's going to go out of bounds. The officials are going to talk about it. They initially signaled to stay with St. Mary's, but it is going to be Defiance ball. And that's what good crews do. This is the veteran crew, Dan Holland, Ben Kramer, Paul Wingowitz. They, they helped each other out. That's what should happen all the time. It doesn't always happen, and that was the right call. Lopez trying to work through the screen. Gets it over to Shaw. Shaw left wide open at the top. Can't get that one to go, but Zachary's there for the putback. Second, third opportunity. Lopez thought about it, pulled it back down, thought about it one more time. Ends up getting rid of it. And St. Mary's defense out of sorts right now. And Zacharich left wide open on the wing. He gets that three-pointer to go as they now have a double-digit lead. St. Mary's wants to take a timeout and talk about it. We'll step aside as well and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Did you know that we have a channel stream? Are you looking for that perfect gift for out-of-town sports fan? WOSN's broadcast channel can now be streamed anywhere in the world online. Roku and Apple TV for only a $100 annual donation. Give the gift of hometown sports for the holidays. Sign up at app.wosn.tv or by downloading the Roku or Apple TV apps. That was a needed timeout by St. Mary's. Defiance had an unbelievable possession. And immediately a turnover, Shaw. Works through the lane, goes right at Turner, but Turner does a great job as the officials are going to get together because the one official was getting ready to call charge. The other one calls a block. We'll see what they, they change the call here. Now all three are going to get together. We'll see if we stick with the initial call or if they change it to a charge. And they are going to stick with the initial call. So it is going to be a block. This one is going to go against Jace Turner, his first. 
And then that goes back to my point of the arc. If the arc is there, that would have been an easy call because I think it's under the basket. There's no rule in high school about that. So, again, what good officials do, all three huddled that time and, and went with the initial call uh, of Ben Kramer underneath the basket. And, and, that, and that's, a, that's good officiating right there. And I think you can see from that, you know, what different angles can show. You know, Kramer right underneath the basket was able to see it. He was right on top. The official a little bit farther away, though, on that backside. As you see the first free throw by Shaw not go down, that, you know, to him it looked like a charge. But they did what you said they should do. They got together. They got the call right. And Braden Shaw at the free throw line. Defiance has really done a good job of mixing up their pressure. Right there they did a little run and jump and just took the ball out of their hands. And, and St. Mary's has got to be ball tough. If they want to get back into this game, they're trying to dig a hole a little bit. They're running out of time to do those things here late third. 11-point lead now for Defiance, their largest of the game. Lots swings it over as St. Mary's moves it around the perimeter. And you see how far Defiance has pushed them out. They pushed them out to 22-plus feet. Now, even when they get it on the inside to Parks, they're still pushing him out as he got that one pretty far away from the basket. And they have a foul on the floor. And this one's going to go against Isaac Slaughter, his second. That is Defiance's 16th foul, though, here of the half. That one's going to go out of bounds off the hands of Jaden Lott. So another turnover puts the ball back into the hands of Defiance. And, and Shaw made that happen. He, he got beat and it made a great play, got a flick, which came out to the St. Mary's player hot, and he lost out of bounds. So Evan Angsman checks back into the game. A minute left to go here in the third quarter. And they're really going to, they need Angsman and Turner Roy to, to, to catch on fire here. They need, a, they need second, third options to really start producing for them here. And you see what they've done too. They've also moved Parks away from the basket. That's a, that's a really good pl play by, by Defiance to get Parks out from the basket and guard his man 25 feet from the, the basket. 35 seconds left to go. Defiance being patient. Here comes the help. Shaw able to dribble out of it. Good find. And Defiance, great ball movement to get that one back out. 20 seconds left to go. This is how it's kind of felt, Nate, since the first quarter. It feels like St. Mary's is just kind of chasing Defiance around. And that's how this possession has gone as well. Jimenez now, 10 seconds though, gets it off to Shaw. Shaw has lots way out around midcourt. He's going to go to work. He tries to drive against that defense off the glass. Put back, no good. And that is going to bring the third quarter to a close. Third quarter was all defiance as they jumped out to an 11-point lead. They are on top, 48-37. We will step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Nate Garlock alongside Mark Bagley. Fourth quarter just about underway and defiance, you know, after a early shot by St. Mary's to come into that third quarter, St. Mary's took over and the offense was humming on the back of Braden Shaw. Yeah, and, and really Angsman, I've talked about it. Angsman and Turner have 11 combined points. They had 40 in the first game. They, they need to get hot here in the fourth quarter and try to make a push to put pressure on uh, Defiance. Defiance defense has been swarming. They have. They've been cutting off St. Mary's at um, most looks. And once again, St. Mary's is going to have to take a timeout. Not happy about what they they saw coming into that fourth quarter just a 30 second timeout so we'll keep it here as well and you know mark what kind of adjustments does st mary's have to make here well the hall of fame coach coach hegemeyer is really frustrated i think he he had he had a plan after the third quarter offensively and they they just kind of stood around and, and defiance is i would say scouting report defense has been outstanding tonight and I, they really need to move the ball move themselves and early in the third quarter they did that and got some easy looks and and right now whether it's fatigue or early season or confidence, well, all those things. Defiance has really executed their game plan to perfection tonight. And St. Mary's is trying to trying to find theirs right now still in the fourth quarter. And that's, that caused that timeout. 
You know, I think, too, what we're seeing at a defiance is, you know, something that you don't see a lot of this anymore at, at any level. Uh, but the senior leadership of defiance, I mean, you know, they start five seniors. They have seniors that come in off the bench as well. I, I think you see, even though it's still early in, the, early in the season, when you've been playing together this long, you have this much experience, it's a lot easier to get in rhythm. It is. Seven seniors. As that three-point shot is no good. And most importantly, Shaw's getting a little break here, which he hadn't had much tonight, and, that, and that's huge for Defiance to run clock and give Shaw rest. Jimenez goes baseline, kicks it back out to Frederick, an extra pass this time is Schlaughter, and that three-pointer is no good, but Keesling comes up with the rebound. Backside rebound. Zacherts works against Parks, turn around, got him off the ground. Great job that time by Caden Zacherts. Working against Parks, he knows he gives up some size, but he has no fear working against him down low. Good head fake, got Parks off the ground, and he's going to make a trip to the free throw line. Again, a three-year varsity player, uh, a great skill level move. First free throw is good. And Shaw got a minute break on the clock, Nate, but about a four-minute break probably overall, so he's going to be fresh down the stretch. and. Defiance has really put on an impressive showing tonight for an early season game. And Caden Zacherich makes both of his free throws to extend this Bulldog lead. Zacherich with 15 points. St. Mary's can't panic. You know, it's still, when you, when you, got, when you got a great player inside, they're just panicked. Great read that time by Schlaughter, but he has that one poked away. It's going to go out of bounds, stay with the Bulldogs. That time Schlaughter did a great job. He just saw that pass the entire way, was able to jump in that passing lane. As Turner had a quick break, he's going to come back in. As Anksman's going to try to take a couple of minutes here as they're going to want all three of them on the floor here towards the end. St. Mary's is only playing seven, and they're really trying to find that lineup right now. Good find by Zach Rich. This one's going to go out as I believe that one either either Slaughter was on the line or the pass bounced on the line before it got to Frederick. But either way, it's a turnover. And St. Mary's has been stuck on 37 for a long time. They they need they need a hoop, some kind of momentum. The crowd's kind of dead right now. They're on their home floor. They need some. Something right now. Here's Sullivan for three. And he gets it to go. Just as you said, they needed a big shot. Sullivan comes through to make this a 10-point game. And we have another timeout. This time it's going to be a full. So we will step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Our scoreboard is presented by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. So St. Mary's with some early timeouts here in the fourth quarter. They're trying to turn the tide and get things going as they find themselves down 10. Plenty of time, a little full court pressure. They're going to have to do something different. So they're trying to get this above going uh, right now defensively. Braden Sullivan gets whistled for his third foul as he fouls Shaw. That is going to be the fourth team foul for St. Mary's. And Sullivan's giving him a little lift right now. He's got eight points now, and he just hit a big three. And so they need a third scorer, a second, third, fourth scorer. St. Mary's. I'm not sure if they're trying to get this to the free throw line, as it looked like Turner that time wasn't really looking to play much defense. Almost looked like he fouled intentionally. That's going to be the fifth team foul, his second. As you see, number one, Noah Payne, come back into the game. So Jimenez able to drop it off to Frederick. They're running and jumping now. They're trying to bring that help, wanting to trap. They know they need extra possessions. Kiesling to Zacherich and then back out. Defiance has been so good with their ball movement all game long. No, no panic, no force. They know where they want to go with the ball. Their spacing has been outstanding, too, to space them out. And here's Shaw. He tries to get that floater up. That one's no good. Lots with the rebound. Lots going to push it. 
Almost carried that time, but gets it off to Sullivan. Sullivan not able to get the three-pointer, but Parks right in the right place at the right time as Austin Parks gets the put back up for two, and now it's an eight-point game. The air ball on the backside is a hard rebound to, to do, too, and Parks is the right place, right time at, at 6'11". Easting down to Zachrich in the corner. And Defiance has to pick and choose their, their time to, to be aggressive, too. They can't just hold the ball. As Lotz whistles with the contact, it's going to be out of bounds. Actually, that should be one and one now. No, excuse me. That's, that is as it is Defiance who had 16 fouls. This is now the 16th foul for St. Mary's. So the next foul by either team will start the free throws. And then that'll be big. You know, with five minutes left to go, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for both teams. And free throws, as we know, win or lose games. And that entry pass was denied as Engsman comes through and knocks that one loose. It was open, but the pass was late, and, and you're throwing it against 6-7, and it ain't going to work. Here's Sullivan. Nice head fake, gets it back out to Engsman. Engsman for three. That one's good. Evan Engsman with the big three-point shot. And all of a sudden, it's down to five, and he just came off the bench, and that's a big-time shot. Two threes here in the fourth quarter, Nate. And they're just ratting the ball right now to try to make Defiance do things they don't want to do. Defiance has them spread out, but nobody moving towards the basket. Shaw cuts the defenders. He gets that easy layup. And now it's going to be Defiance that wants to take a timeout. As it looks like they're going to take a full timeout, which means we'll step aside as well. We'll be right back on WOSN. Welcome back. Our scoreboard is presented by Charles River Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. So now Defiance took the timeout. Wanted to talk about it as we've seen the pressure from St. Mary's step up. They forced a couple of turnovers, gotten themselves some extra possessions. And what was once a 13-point lead was five a little bit ago, back up to seven now. St. Mary's trying to make a run. And so now they put they put Angsman at the, at the point guard spot a little bit here to handle the ball, maybe to leave some pressure so they can't pressure as hard. Here's Payne for three. That one's off. Parks with the putback doesn't go, but he picks up the foul. We'll see who they call this one on. He had two on him, and this one's going to go against Frederick. And Parks has done his damage here in the fourth quarter on backside rebounds. There was another uh, opportunity there to have an and one. He missed the tip, but two free throws are more important. The clock has stopped, Nate. So Parks has been good from the free throw line all night long. Only one miss. As he makes the first of two. It gives St. Mary's a chance to set their defense right now. Offense, defense, when the clock stopped. Parks' second free throw is up and good as well. He is eight of nine from the free throw line tonight. That just shows you that you know, St. Mary's is so capable. Defiance is outplaying the night, but it's a five-point game. 52-47, Defiance on top. Under four left to go here in the game. St. Mary's trying to put the pressure on. Shaw dribbles out of trouble. Kiesling almost had that one taken away. Sullivan, but has to get back quickly. Goes, as you saw Shaw go right into the teeth of that defense. Zachrich gets tied up, and we're going to have a foul. This one's going to go against Sullivan. Defiance was fortunate there. The ball got in the middle of the floor. There was hands everywhere, and ended up calling a foul. Lots of free throws the last 341, and we'll see which team makes the most. So nobody in too much foul trouble, except for Braden Sullivan, as he has four fouls. Everybody else, no, nobody else, excuse me, has more than two. Zachrich. First free throw is good. Zachrich now three for three from the line here in the fourth quarter. Lines up his second shot. This one is up and good. And you think about Zachrich, he's had to play against Parks for four years, and it's really done a good job tonight battling that matchup. Zachrich now with 17 points on the night. Braden Shaw with 23. Lobbed inside to Parks. Easy layup for Austin Parks. And you saw where the ball that was there, Nate, it was in the middle of the floor. In the middle of the floor, it's hard to help because everybody's on ball side, and, and that was a great lob pass and good finish. 
54-49. Kiesling gets it up over half court. Ends up in the hands of Shaw. He has had a hot hand all night for Defiance. Defiance players are always in triple threat. They're always ready to step and pass. Their spacing is outstanding. It's hard to double when you space like they are right now. Backridge gets it over to Kiesling. Back up over to Slaughter. Slaughter almost has that one poked away. He's able to gather it. Now into the hands of Shaw. Under three to go. And Payne finally comes out. He's going to foul Shaw. He's going to take a trip to the free throw line. And that's where, you know, as the season goes on, you watch film, they, like, they waited, you know, 45 seconds, and they fouled the best player on the floor. Uh, and so they'll learn from that and understand we don't want to foul him. Braden Shaw lines up the free throw. Gets this one to go. Over his last few years, you can just tell with, with Shaw, the game has really slowed down for him. He, he's been in control of this game from start to finish tonight. He has really been the quarterback out there on, on the floor. Shaw goes a perfect two for two from the line. Back out to a seven point lead, 56-49. 2.40 left to go in the game. St. Mary's knows that every offensive possession now is important. They can't afford any turnovers. Owens gets it over to Sullivan. He's looking for Parks down low. Here comes the help. Parks spins out of it, but the foul is on the floor prior to the shot. But either way, Parks is going to go to the free throw line to shoot. And there's nothing you can do there. Once the ball gets in there, it just he's 6'11". He's not going to stop that. So he's going to make free throws. And again, we're, we're looking at right now, it's a, it's, it, it's a three-possession game, a chance to get back to a two-possession game by making free throws. So Parks with 20 points on the night. Eight of them have come to the free throw line, but he's not able to connect on that one. Shaw dribbling through some traffic, drops it off. Slaughter finds Kiesling. And right now, Defiance wants the ball in Shaw's hands as much as possible. Here comes the help. Working against three Rough Riders. And we're going to have another whistle as Shaw's going to go to the free throw line. And he baited him into fouling him there. He, he slowed down enough to get the guy on his hip, and he ran over him a little bit, and he's shooting free throws. He's just a really smart player. Shaw's first free throw is up and good. He continues to have a tremendous night on the offensive end. Shaw's second shot is up. This one is going to be off. Rebound comes up into the hands of who else? Braden Shaw. Right. He's going to get fouled again. Now we're in the double bonus now. He gets two, and, 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 that, and another crafty play there. He just went down in a stance and, and took the ball out, and they fouled him from behind. Noah Payne whistled for that foul. As Shaw steps up, makes his first. As Braden Shaw has an opportunity to make this a double-digit lead with this free throw. This one is up and good. 59-49, Defiance on top. Now St. Mary's has to play really fast, which isn't their style. They're down to one timeout, they're down 10. It's, it's every possession, they have to be perfect right now. Dangerous handoff that time as Owens is pretty close to midcourt. Able to get it off, Owens, three-pointer is good. So Tobin Owens has not scored since the first half. Comes up with a big three-pointer that time. As St. Mary's is going to take their final timeout. This one's going to be 30 seconds. We'll keep it here. And, you know, seems like just when it looks like St. Mary's might, you know, kind of be done for the evening and Defiance is going to pull away. They have come up with big shots. It's just that consistency of finding that big shot here in the last minute 52. Yeah, and, and being at home, only game two, their crowd really hasn't been able to help them as much for the home court advantage tonight just because it feels like the fines have been, been in control. But the, again, it's a three possession game with plenty of time left. They can't stop the clock anymore, but they have to hope for some missed free throws, a few turnovers, but they're still in this game. And, and uh, they went small here defensively with Turner and Angsman on the bench to try to create a turnover and then foul quickly 
someone other than Shaw. Ends up in the hands of Shaw, guarded by Lott. Here comes the trap. He picked up his dribble in a dangerous part of the floor, has to get rid of it. And Frederick went up high to gather that one in, but a timeout by Defiance. And probably a good timeout there. Shaw made one of the few mistakes he's made tonight. He, he picked his dribble up and turned his back, and then kind of <laughs> threw a home run pass there that Coach Lane ran, ran over to call a timeout in the air. You know, we talked um, about, you know, early season conference matchup, you know, how important these can be. You know, how about the WBL this year? You know, the top of the WBL looks to be as strong as, as ever. These two teams being in the mix, you know, a lot believe, you know, Van Wert, Ottawa, Glendorf also being in the mix. Once again, the conference is just going to be a juggernaut. It is, and Van Wert's got five seniors back that have a lot of experience. It'll be a slow start with football. Um, and we know that OG with Colin White and their tradition, I um, mean, at home, they're almost unbeatable on that floor at home. And, and Colin White's an outstanding player. Shaw with the hesitation gets that one to go up. And we have a whistle. But it, see if Shaw injured. He comes down, and he is trying to walk it off. I think it scared him when he, when he, he did a great job of ball faking. He came down off that layup. He stepped on someone's foot. And we had a whistle, but I missed who that was on as we take a trip down to the other end of the floor as Austin Parks is going to be shooting some free throws. Not quite sure what happened or what led to that as it was after the basket by Shaw. Yeah, I missed that one. I was looking at Shaw's ankle and I didn't see there was a foul, but there must have been a shove up Parks on the backside. So Austin Parks goes back to the free throw line. First shot is good. So that was the ninth team foul uh, by Defiance. So they still have one before they're in the double bonus. As Parks able to make the second one as well. Sixty-one, fifty-four, minute eighteen left to go. Zach Rich trying to work against Anksman has this one poked out of bounds from behind by Parks. Possession is going to stay with Defiance. And that was a good attack by. Uh, Zachary, uh, he beat his man and just got blocked from behind. It's, again, they make free throws. They're going to come out victorious tonight. And here comes the foul this time from Owens. That's his third. And Schlatter is going to take a trip to the free throw line. This is the first time he has been to the free throw line tonight. So you see Shaw still work, or moving a little gingerly on that ankle. First free throw is good. So Slaughter with a quiet 13 tonight is, you know, usually that's a big night, but the performance of Braden Shaw overshadowing him and Caden Zachrich, who has 17. They have three players with 61 points, so that's, I mean, 61 of their 63 by three players. That's been a really good trio. Here comes a dunk. Austin Parks puts it down. St. Mary's trying to stay close. Shaw dribbles out of trouble, gets it up to Frederick, gets it over to Zachrich. And now here comes the foul one more time. And it seems like, Nate, it's been seven points forever. Like, they're just hanging around right now. Uh, but they need something to happen with free throws missed, and that's not happening right now. Defiance has been really good for the line tonight. Lauder's first three throw. This one's going to be short. Uh, and I just jinxed him. <laughs> <laughs> Always happens that way. Second free throw is up. This one's off as well. So St. Mary's got what they needed. See if they can get the rebound. Ends up being a foul, it looks like. No, they're going to call jump ball. Possession arrow favors Defiance. And both the free throws they've missed in the fourth quarter have been offensive rebounds for Defiance. So they, they've made those 50-50 plays when the game was still in doubt. And th this game wasn't over by any stretch of the imagination. It still isn't. St. Mary's going to need some turnovers or some more missed free throws, but they got to come up with those rebounds when they get them. 42 seconds left to go. Defiance inbounds to Shaw. Yeah. 
And here comes the foul. This is going to send Frederick to the line. As Anksman is going to pick up that foul. And I think St. Mary's is, is, is exhausted right now. They, they've expended so much energy to kind of get back in this game. And you can only climb that hill, that mountain, so many times before uh, teams like Defiance just wear you down. And especially with the type of offense that Defiance has played as Frederick's not able to connect on that first free throw. But they have done a great job with their ball movement and their spacing tonight. So St. Mary's has covered a lot of ground, especially with them in that man-to-man. -man. And that was, one, that was one of Defiance's huge goals tonight is to make them move. They, did, they, they accomplished that. Parks ends up on the floor. We're going to have a block. This one's going to work against Frederick as Austin Parks is going to make another trip to the free throw line. That is the fourth foul on Tyler Frederick. Defiance with that eight-point lead, trying to close this out, but St. Mary's not going away quietly. No, no matter what happens here for St. Mary's tonight, how this ends, they're going to be in the hunt this year. Again, this is early for them, and, and they're trying to figure out some rotations. They're not playing a lot of guys right now. They haven't found their identity yet, but they will. And, and when you have a Ohio State uh, future player on your team, you got a chance to be really good. You know, and I think the key, too, is, you know, Parks has gotten his points tonight. You know, he has 24 on the night as he goes to the free throw line looking for more. But what they've done is they've shut down those other ones. You see Evan Aikspin only with eight tonight, uh, Turner with only seven. And a lot of that, uh, a lot of those came in the first half. You haven't heard much from them here in the second half. And I think that's what a lot of teams are going to look to do this year. You know, Austin Parks is going to get his points, he's going to get his rebounds. It's going to be everybody else around St. Mary's you're going to have to try to shut down. They're going to need those guys to step up. In the tournament run last year, the regional finals, those guys did that. That's what made them really good. And so they're going to need those other players, some guards, and then obviously the, the, the two other big kids the, to play well consistently. So we're down to a two-possession game. St. Mary's fouls again to send Kiesling to the free throw line. Kiesling's first shot is good. That was a big free throw because it makes it back to a three possession game and with no timeouts left, the clock is just a, is the factor now. They're just, they've run out of time. Second free throw, no good, but a hustle play by Kiesling goes for the steal, and he's going to get whistled for the foul. That's going to send Sullivan to the free throw line. And that's another learning lesson there for teams early on. In the film, you'll say, okay, time and score. We're up seven, 22 seconds to go. Just get back. Let the clock run. And instead, they got a chance to get free throws here with the clock stopped. That's the only way that, that St. Mary's can, can get back in this game. St. Mary's with an opportunity here to make this a five-point game and they convert on both free throws. First one, no good, though. And no matter what, it's still a two-possession game. Sullivan lines up a second free throw. This one's up and good. Six-point game. That one's going to be knocked out as Sullivan is not happy with that call. They Thought that went out on a defiance player, but they're going to say last touch by St. Mary's. 18.7 seconds left to go. Zachrich gets it over into the corner, and he is fouled. So with 16 and a half seconds left to go, defiance going to go to the free throw line, and Zachrich is able to convert both of these. It can almost seal it for the Bulldogs. Hey, he makes one of two here. There's just not enough time unless... Defiance will keep on fouling, which I don't think they'll do again. I think they'll get people off the line here after this first free throw. Zachrich so able to get that one to rattle home. And they did. Now a three possession game. 16 seconds left to go, and St. Mary's just running out of time. Zachrich with 18 points on the night. Now 19. Owens brings it up quickly. 12 seconds left to go. Long three-point try by Parks. That one's going to be off. Anksman with the rebound. 
He puts that one up and in. Five seconds left to go. And Shaw is just going to dribble this one out as Defiance is going to come into St. Mary's as Shaw goes down. Hopefully just with a cramp as he was trying to get through traffic there. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, his calf cramped. So Braden Shaw, a well-earned cramp if there ever was one with a performance that he put on tonight as he put on put up 30 points. And his teammate Zach Rich comes up with 19. And Isaac Slaughter joins the scoring with 14. Defiance did it on both ends of the job, but it really started with the defense and the pressure they put on St. Mary's. They did. St. Mary's controlled that first quarter and, 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 and went out with a five-point lead. And from that point on, Defiance really controlled the tempo with, with their ball pressure and their backside help. And then offensively, whether they, St. Mary's played man or zone didn't matter. They, they executed well for early season game. And, uh, congratulations to Coach Lehman and the Defiance Bulldogs. And St. Mary's will be just fine this year as well. It, it really is going to be a competitive Western Buckeye League. This is an early season. This will open some eyes up for some people, but I, I don't think many will be too surprised with the Cedar-laden Defiance Bulldogs winning this game. And Defiance, a lot of success last season. High expectations coming into this year, and you saw why tonight. The experience they have, the speed they have, the defense they can play, and when they are on um, shooting-wise, I mean, I would think, believe you said they were 6 of 12, I think, from three-point line in that first half. When they can shoot like that and defend the way they defend, they are going to be a tough out every single night. Yeah, they had three scoring options tonight, and when someone gets 30 and then you have 19 and 14, it just really is hard to guard, and they really... Their, their key players from last year really played well tonight and, and continued that. When you have seven seniors uh, that have played together for a long time, it just makes it easier when you go into to someone's visiting court. You know, in, in the Western Buckeye League, home courts are a huge advantage, and tonight it wasn't much of an advantage for St. Mary's because the fine leadership from their seniors. So that is just going to about wrap it up for us here at St. Mary's. As the Defiance Bulldogs come to town and they come away with a huge conference victory over the Rough Riders. We'd like to thank our crew tonight, Steven and Kelsey, doing a great job on the cameras. As always, Zach Keith back in the studio doing the editing. We appreciate everything you guys do. A phenomenal job, as always. One final time. So uh, the Defiance Bulldogs, excuse me, come into St. Mary's. They come away with a big conference victory. For Mark Bagley, I'm Nate Garlock. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great night, everybody.